Hello gamers, we're back here in Corfia and Path Scribe Rovest has a quest for us. A matter of urgency. More Walker, there's a matter of urgency that has not been addressed. Our Fate Scribe is missing. They have not found their way here. They would have been in Seeker's Quorum before. Path Scribe Rovest pauses. Can you look for the Fate Scribe? Many attendants used the caves near the ruins to hide from the Morsworn. Can you please search for the Fate Scribe of Corthia? We Corfea? have but one option. To endure. Right, so where are you suggesting that I look? Just a little bit to the south, kind of where we started all the searching before. Where we found the Archivist. Right, so let's not jump off the cliff, let's find a proper path down. So lots and lots of different layers, so we just want to slowly make our way down to probably the right layer. I think we're sort of at the right sort of height now. Um, and... Oh, this looks like we're quite close. Is it just behind here? Hmm, it doesn't look like there's a path down. Do we go round a little bit? Well, I did see a treasure there. I didn't miss it, but I'm, I'm just going to leave them for the moment. Because A, we're being chased, and B, we've got a quest to do. So I think... Yes, there's a cave. Oh, yes, brilliant. We've found one. page remains, but he does not. Oh, not the person we're Where looking for. Where have you gone, Fate Scribe? Oh, someone else looking for them. You are searching for the Fate Scribe too? I must find him. I cannot fail. We have work to do. Caretaker Kanthan is also looking for him. I'm a survivor from the attack on the Seeker's Quorum. I am searching for the Fate Scribe. The last place you look. I came here hoping to locate the Fate Scribe or something to help me find him. Evidence shows he was here and survived a more sworn attack. The only other place I haven't looked is the meditation chamber on the opposite side of the ruins. It's too dangerous for me to head back into the Seeker's Quorum alone. Could you help me? I must find the Fate Scribe. It's a matter of great importance. Quest objective. Search the Seeker's Quorum for the missing Fate Scribe. Well, since that's what I've been sent to do, I don't see why we shouldn't go together. Rescued from Torment The Moorsworn are not only killing those they find in the Seeker's Quorum, they are interrogating the survivors. We should help save those we can. It's possible one of them might have seen the Fate Scribe. Quest objective, rescue six tortured attendants in Seeker's Quorum. Well, that sounds like a good thing to do, so yes, let's definitely do this that. Let's see if we can save people. Some urgency. I will meet you in the ruins. Thank you for assisting my search. Well, you can thank me who you like, but somebody else sent me to do the job, so it's the one I'm doing anyway. But yes, the, it's a good idea to try and save some of the other attendants as well. And if they're questioning them, that's probably because they're looking for the Fate Scribe or that hidden artifact that the jailer seems to want that nobody will tell us what it is. I would assist you, but combat is not my expertise. Well, no, all the locals do seem to be scholars, so fighting isn't going to be their expertise, is it? Some of them have done quite a good job of hiding, though. And they do seem pretty resilient. Right, so let's see, what do we... Um... I don't think there's any... Uh... Ooh, what did we just pick up? Looting the looters. The Morsworn was carrying a Corfian artifact. It's unclear what the enemy wants with such relics, but you suspect the attendants in Keeper's Respite would want to see them returned. Retrieve four Corthian artifacts from the Morsworn. Well, since we're here fighting anyway and trying to save a few attendants, 
I presume I we'll pick that up as we go. I, I knew nothing. Well, we've got a little bit of a camp what just to the north. If you head over there, you you'll find the archivist. We've got to fight the more swarm to uh, get the attendants free anyway, so that should give us the four artifacts we need as well, shouldn't we, as we go. I just need to make sure we've finished everything before we find this meditation place to look for the fate scribe. There's hmm. one of the relics up. That is clearly useless. Well, I'm still taking it anyway. I'll let the archivist decide that. Hey friend, bye friend. Nothing inside. If there was anything there, they they just leave it out. Oh, look, there's another attendant we can save. Yay, we can rescue them in combat. I must find safety. North, go north. We've got a camp north. The archivist there. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> right, do you have a, a relic, please? Yes. Little more than trash. Well, I'm taking it anyway. My quest said four things. In size, why are you dismissing things so much? They were artifacts we had stored. Somebody decided they were worth something. I told them. I knew nothing. You knew nothing. What were they asking for specifically? Were they looking for the fate scribe or were they looking for artifacts? That would be a useful thing to be told as well. That's five attendant, and I, there's the sixth attendant. I must find safety. Like I keep saying, go north, we've got to camp. That's yes, the attendant. Rescued from torment. I struggle to believe that not a single attendant has any information on where the fate scribe might be. We well, if he's hiding, if people knew where he was, he'd been doing a bad job of hiding, wouldn't he? So, it's probably a good thing that nobody knows. Oh, hello, little monster. I don't suppose you've got a relic, have you? Oops. Hey, that sneaky teleporting behind me. Don't bite my bum. I need it for sitting on my mount. got a lot of health. That's our spiky boy. You can see all his bones are looking. It's like he's completely starved, poor thing. Oh, since he's trying to kill me, I probably shouldn't be calling him a poor thing, should I? Hmm. Right, what do we need? Oh yeah, we need to find some more bad guys to fight for artifacts, and we need to find the fate scribe. This was a place of meditation. And serenity. Yeah, it's not very serene Where attendants now. would commune with one another. It's rather a mess. There's not much left, is there? Such a shame. Right, it's a lot of fighting going on along here, so let's see how many of these we can attack as well. Then, if we're lucky, we'll get the artifacts that we need out of this. What did we get? Oh, we did get that an artifact axe. is actually it does have some value, That's but it's it. not of use to us. No, but the point isn't whether it's of use to us right now, the point is it's something that's with rescue that was in the archive. That's kind of point. You can do more than one thing at a time. It's called multitasking. 
Right, so, we still need one artefact, yes. And I think now I can see the marker for where we we're supposed to look for the Fate Scribe, so let's see if we can get the artefact before we go there. Uh, ah, yes! This is it. Precisely what we need. Oh? What does it do? What does it do? Tell me what does it do? Does it help us find it? Poor Corthia. Looting the looters. Such a now this is special. This implement is used by the Fate Scribe in his work. We have work to do. Well, maybe it will help us find him though. Because it's something that belonged to him. Let's um, heal our friends up a little bit. Right, where do we need to go now? Is it down this way? No, I don't think it's down this way. Is it? Oh, we're going to have to fight again. Is it near that monument? First, I thought it might be down this path, but I don't think it is. So maybe it's near that monument. Kind of looks a bit like a sword in there. Your ability it kind of looks like a sword handle, doesn't it? There, look. Is inspiring. Yeah, I think it's... No, it's not the monument, is it? Oh, wait, hang on. No, it's not the monument. What's this torch? Aha! Oh, look, there's a cave. Right, so maybe inside here? No, a I don't quiet see anybody. Place of retreat. Yet he isn't here. A book? Journal of the Fate Scribe. Curses. He has been Let here. Let us hope further searching provides another clue. Burned incense. Incense. This you is from the friend. sanctuary of guidance. Oh, that guy. Bet he's headed there. Kizesh. Are you in charge of this destruction that's going on around here? Ooh. That's an interesting AOE. It's a very fast one in all directions, so I think the only way out of that is to have to go all the way out, isn't it? Let's try and take a screenshot, yep. Yeah. Actually, we were lucky that it didn't do too much damage to us, but... Uh, scared him away to try and put it a little bit short. But it didn't do as much damage as maybe I was expecting to do. My shield stopped a lot of it. But yeah, he probably wouldn't want to get hit by that. We can help the last place you look. Mother. Mad ramblings and incense. Weak clues, but they're all we have. We need to search the Sanctuary of Guidance. Redirect the search. I believe the Fate Scribe was headed to the Sanctuary of Guidance, a holy place for the attendants of Corthia. Fortunately, because you seem to be in the habit of picking up every piece of trash you find, we have the Fate Scribe's implement. I'm sure that will prove useful in locating him, but first, on to the sanctuary. Quest objective: meet caretaker Carthen. The at the entrance to the sanctuary of guidance. This in is a matter of some. Urgent. Let us rendezvous near the sanctuary of guidance. Okay, Make haste. That? Oh, that's quite close to our little camp area, isn't it? I'm going to have a quick side track here and uh, as you can see a star marked on the map so that would be a ooh, a respawn. So we go through here do we? Oh right so it's like a little teleporter thing. Oh I haven't seen one of these before. We are part the village. That's quite a few people have found it haven't they? Right so we're going to Attack this rest and see what we can find. There's something behind him. What is it? Looks like a drum. 
drum of the death lower. Ah, right, so we need to take that back to the archive. Oh, it took seven for the big one. So if you win against him, that doesn't get you out of his uh, ability to pull you in. Oh, he's doing it again. Oh, he does it very quickly. Look, you get silenced if you get touched by it. Oh, yeah. That's a little awkward as a healer. group it's kind of hard to try and help people out too much and I do kind of as a healer feel like I ought to be helping people. Interesting. Oh, and we've got a quest item as well. Everlasting statue. Bring the statue to Archivist Rose in the Reliquary of Remembrance. So that's two items we've got to take back to him. I don't see anything else, do I? No, there's nothing else. Right, so if we take the portal back out and then let's go back to the quest that we were doing. That was a nice little side thing. So if you keep an eye on the map, they can always find more things. See, there's another recipe in it now, but I think... Uh, uh, up there somewhere there's a, a rare spawn. It looks like it's off the side of the map, so on one of the little side islands. But we're not going to keep chasing uh, all the rare spawns, I don't think. Because... No, don't be tempted, don't be tempted, let's continue with the quest. Otherwise the video will be super, super long and we'll never get the quest completed, so let's let's stay on track. So tempting to run off and follow things. So I think that's one of the, the nice laws of some of these areas is that if things randomly spawn on the map, then you're just tempted to go from one to the next to the next to the next. And it, it just keeps you occupied and it's a bit of fun and you just can keep going for as long as you've got time for. So I think that's a nice thing. But I always like to do the, the main things first to make sure that you don't miss the main storyline and stuff. If we keep going up here, we should come both to our camp and to the shrine that we're looking for. I think the two are on the opposite sides of the path up here. Should be getting close now. Yep, there's the caretaker, look. Excellent. Good news. I found more monstrosities for you to vanquish. You know that I cannot do this without you. You can't fight, can you? You need me for that. Hmm. Echoes of fate. The devourers have swarmed this place, but our focus must remain on finding the fate scribe. Attendants who worshipped here would leave offerings of anima at the shrines. The implement you found will resonate if the fate scribe has been here nearby. With any luck, it will give us an insight into where he has gone. Resonate the Fate Scrab's implement at the shrines in the Sanctuary of Guidance. We must, Marsworn. Devourers. This place has seen its share of defilement. Protector Remart seems to have had a problem. Revenge delayed. The Corthian Protector is gravely wounded and struggles to speak. Devourers. Swarm the Sanctuary. Too few of us. My duty. Incomplete. The purpose, I... The Protector's voice fades. Kill ten devourers in the sanctuary. Oop, there's a fight going on. Can we join that? Because if lots of people are here trying to kill the monsters, there won't be any for us to fight. So let's take on any that we see. Right, so for the Protector, we will take on these guys. So we probably should move the Protector to our camp and get him some help, rather than uh, do his revenge. Then come back and do his revenge after we save him. Right, so we're looking for resonances of where the fate scribe's been and what he's done in the past. And 
The caretaker is saying that that implement that we picked up will help us to be able to detect those sorts of things. So could these things that look a bit like upside down sword memorials, could these be the shrines? So we need to figure out how to use this implement at them then. Do we click the implement or the shrines? Requires the shrine. We're not close enough? Ah, yes, it works here. Right. We're probably at the wrong shrine then. It seemed to work there, but oh, what's this? Oh, uh, rare spawn, silver dragon. Yeah, that's not got a marker on the map, so it looks like the little rare spawns don't put big markers on the map, and the big ones do. So you won't find all of the rare spawns if you're just looking for the markers. That means we're going to need a, a map reference. My head's probably got that already, so... That would probably be a good source to go for, wouldn't it? And we can figure out if any of them drop nice things that we want or if they all just drop bits of archive pages so then it's not worth the actual specific looking for them maybe unless you're super grinding hard hard grinding the uh, reputations but there are more and more people arriving there So it looks like it might be worth the time in there. It's all about how much time you've got and how hardcore you want to farm these things. There are quite a lot of people here now, look. Let's see what he drops. Or she drops, I'm not quite sure from this distance. Yeah, artifact stuff. Alright, is there anything else here where they spawned? No, I don't think so. A few broken canisters and things, looks like they might have been stealing some of the anima. Yeah, right, so let's see then. We want some more of those gorger guys and we want to go to the shrine. So we can see a big marker here. So where is this shrine that's marked? I don't see any guys to fight, so... Oh, what about this little guy? Oh yeah, that'll count as well. Scavengers count as well. For the protected space it is. So it's devourers slain, so the little guys count as well. So it's not just the ones that are actually called devourers. Anybody that's walked into the place counts. Right, so there should be a shrine here. Oh yeah. Mind sees control. I bet they count for that quest as well, so this should make it 6 out of 10, shouldn't it? And that anima container there, next to the shrine, looks like the thing we've got marked on our moon. Right, so you can either tick on the item or use the scepter. Why does he need the anima? Such a tedious plan. Now if he's looking for specific things, it looks like he's got something that he's planning. Ah, uh, now we need to go to the shrine that we found first. So we have to do them in a set order. Oh, is that because he's got the little cutscenes that tell his story? Or at least part of his story. Right, incense this time. Eternal ones, grant me your guidance and wisdom. And an illusion. Yes, illusion. let my mark hide them in plain sight. Employ your own tactics against them. An illusion? How quaint. 
So it definitely sounds like he's trying to hide. He must know something that he doesn't want them to find out, so he's hiding as carefully as he possibly can. So maybe finding him isn't a good thing, but then if we can get him to the sanctuary, he'll be protected. That looks like a scroll that we can pick up. It does. A lost memento. Finds when picked up. There's something inside it. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, nothing super exciting. I wonder if there's some scroll somewhere that's got something super rare or exciting in it. Oh, it's like a little froggy hippo -y thing. I need a scroll from the foot and the anima to fuel its magic. May the purpose shield me. We have him. Yeah, I don't think he does want us to find this him. This way, hurry. But we do need to get him somewhere safer. Then I think if he definitely knows something, we need to know what he knows because we need to be able to hide whatever they're looking for. Just hope we find him before the bad guys do. So once we finish this fight, I just need one more of the monsters as well to finish the protector's quest. Maybe we can get everything done all at about the same time. That would be very nice. These gorgeous have got a lot of health. My health's going down a little bit here. help if you remove the shields off them, doesn't it? That helps you <laughs> that helps you to do more damage to them. A lot faster. I still keep forgetting to look for those shields, don't I? Oh, well I said I wanted one more, and now I've got two more. Right, I finished my quest there. Might be the to move a little bit as well if we're going to keep respawning on top of the area. Ooh, the health's not good there. Look at that. Not that down fast. So it was there. Being sneaky, isn't it? Is it two debuffs? Right, the health's a bit better now, so oh, let's put those two shields up again. Yay, that's that quest done. One more guy to fight before we can get out of here. There we go. You have completed the protector's task, indeed. Right, so let us find the fate scribe now. So he's st still in this shrine area by the looks of the map, though. Ah, another cave. As the caretaker. Poor Corthia. Such a calamity. Using an illusion to hide. Can you imagine anything so clever? Under the illusion, the fate scribe has collected the necessary items to create an illusion in this chamber. Fortunately, we can use his own implement to disperse it and reveal him. He will be grateful to see a friendly face, I'm sure. I must say, you've proven to be incredibly helpful in this task. I truly couldn't have done it without you. Use the Fate Scribe's implement to we dispel the illusion. To dispel this illusion, let's grab the Fate Scribe and get back to our sanctuary. Get him protected by Bolvar. Ooh, cutscene. Quickly, Fate Scribe, let's go. No, I found you. They haven't found you. Oh no. Thank oh, you for all your valuable assistance. Why do we always end up with helping the wrong people? How many? How many spies has the banished one seated among us? 
Well, that's a problem you then, isn't it? You can ask him yourself once we arrive in Torghast. He is quite eager to meet you. Oh no, we're not going to find out what he knew. Kill the Maw Walker! Oh, and make it quick. As a sign of gratitude. I will come for you, you nasty piece of work. Oh, there's always one of these quests, isn't there, where we end up helping the wrong guys? But we had no reason to not to not trust her, did we? Because we'd already been sent by someone we know is on the open up to try and find that guy. So it seems completely reasonable that more of his people are there, because we've helped them in the past. But that could be a big problem if they've got the illusions, so we can't tell that they're illusions. Then we could already have bad guys infiltrating our ranks. So... Oh dear. Sorry, Bolvar, I've got more bad news for you. We've got demons and things helping them now as well. More enemies. We thought we're done with you lot. And they're back again. That's Odious is slain. Yes, that's going to tell me to go back to talk to uh, Bolvar, isn't it? Oh, Fate Scribe has been taken. Yeah, sadly. Ah, <sighs> dear. We're always in trouble, aren't we? They could be anyone. The still warm head of the Dreadlord, as odious grimaces at you. The attendants at Keeper's Respite should be told of the Fate Scribe's abduction. No doubt Howlord Lord Four Dragon will want to hear of this unexpected threat. I'm afraid so. Oh dear. Right, okay, we'll take the head of the demon dude to Bolvar and... <sighs> right, there's nothing else in the cave, sadly, so no more clues for us. Right, what we need to do now then is head back to the camp. We've not got far to go. The question is, is can we get out of the sanctuary without having to fight lots of mobs again? Yay, we did. Right, so if we just go up this hill, that will bring us back to our camp and we've got lots of things to turn in and I'm afraid lots of bad news to give to people. Oh dear. Who shall we see first? Let's give the archivist a few things that we've picked up. He'll be quite happy to see us at least. We have a I found some relics. Right, we've got 58 rep there. Trust in the purpose. Drum of the death low. I could hear you approaching with this drum before I saw you and strangely I thought someone else might be with you. The archive is in your desk, Mar Walker. Ever living statuette. I trust you did not listen to anything that this little monster told you. It is absolutely incapable of uttering the truth. Well, it was whispering to us, but we mostly just ignored it. Right, anything else to give him now? That's everything. Right, so now, unfortunately, we cannot put it off any longer. We have to go and give, Bo give Bolvar the bad news that we have dreadlords. <sighs> we all thought we'd got rid of them, at least temporarily. But unfortunately, they are back much sooner than we expected or had hoped for. Bolvar. I will aid you as best I can. News of the Nathrazim infiltrating Corthia is deeply troubling. How long have they been here? What is their goal? I fear darker days are to come. The Nathrazim. Serving the jailer, but they were part of the Burning Legion. At least that's what we were led to believe. The dread is much to be done. Infiltration and illusion. Our Covenant forces must remain vigilant. Our fate, scribe, taken. I pray the purpose gives him comfort in that dark place. Stay alert, Maul Walker. They could be anywhere. 
and I'm also turning in the weekly quest to help people around Tokyo. What I meant to do though was open the chest so we can see what's inside it. So there's a variety of items that you can get inside it. So we can get reputation, we can get items, we can get conduits, we can get things we can wear and we can get things that are grey items to sell for money. So that is the end of this particular quest chain and sadly we have found that we have dreadlords and bad guys from the Burning Legion as well. So hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!